Hi, it's Andy again, and I'm going to do a tutorial today to solve some of the uh, questions that I get most frequently on my channel. And uh, part of the most frequent one is uh, your example doesn't work. So I'm going to go straight from probably the most common one that people complain about that doesn't work and uh, go th straight forward and show you how to add a, a library, uh, one of my projects, and uh, start fresh from a completely empty workspace as you can see here. Now I haven't posted a video in a while. Um, there's two reasons for that. One, my wife has been pretty sick with pneumonia so I've been taking care of her. And two, I was trying to meet a July 1st deadline for uh, an app that I was making so that I could be the first uh, uh, mobile app to take uh, into consideration uh, the new G codes that for uh, physical therapy. Um, which was my wife's idea actually for making an app. So uh, I met that deadline and I, to my knowledge, I'm still, it's still the only one that on, on the Android Play Store that you know, has both the test and a corresponding G code to go with it. So uh, I've been pushing really hard to work on that one. So if I haven't been able to answer your questions, that's why. Um, otherwise, uh, I've been hard at work uh, doing that and taking care of my very sick wife. But uh, she's better now, so no worries about that. Um, expect a lot more videos coming soon. Okay, so I'm gonna start with, um, this is a, a blank workspace, there's nothing here. Um, I'm gonna actually show you, uh, let's see, I need to go to the desktop and go into, uh, I have a test downloads things. Um, here's the, the three things that are, are needed for this example to work. Here's the example, uh, the action bar shutter lock, and the sliding menu master. So we need to unzip these. Okay, and done. So that's all done. And we need to add them. So let's add them one at a time. Uh, if I were you, I would add the libraries first. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier. And uh, just for reference, this is going to have errors at first. I'm, this is going to be more of a troubleshooting video because uh, these are not going to correspond with the same libraries that I have elsewhere on my computer. So you'll get the same errors that uh, I, I will get the same errors in this video that you should get. Uh, so we're going to go Android project from existing code. We're going to browse uh, same to that same folder. Uh, let's see, test. Oh, oops. Let's go back, test downloads. Let's start with uh, Action Bar Sherlock. We need that one. Uh, ABS library is what I like to call it, but you can call it whatever you want. Uh, copy project into workspace. And there you go. Let's add another one. Sliding menu master. Now this is probably older than what is currently available from the um, from their his uh, project. I think he's updated it since then, so you'll see, you know, there's probably some adjusting that will need to be done. Okay, and then last we'll add the, the other project, the actual sample app. So we need to edit this, properties, Android, all right, and it is a library, okay. Go to Android 2 tools, uh, add the support library, up the license and we'll let it go. Let's see if we can figure out what errors we're getting. Let's 
Ah, there we go. So that fixed that problem. Okay, so that one you want to add the Java build path to that one. And let's do the next the sliding menu library. Let me check to see if I've edited this one because you're going to need to edit this one if you're going to use Action Bar Sherlock. So sliding fragment activity. So that you got to make sure that you edit this if you're going to use uh, Sherlock fragment, uh, Action Bar Sherlock to Sherlock fragment activity. When you do, uh, download the stock one, it's going to just have fragment activity. Uh, you want to change that to Sherlock fragment activity. Okay, so we need to uh, do the same thing where we go into properties. You got to add, uh, well, let's go to Android first. See, this is the library that's no longer linking. And same with this. We'll change the build path to 4.2.2. .2. We'll delete this one, and then we'll add the ABS library to it. Um, and then Java build path. You want uh, private libraries. Okay, accept that. Let's see if we can figure out what else the errors are. Oh, so map activity, this is going to have an error because I didn't use a version of Android with um, uh, the Google um, specific code, like the proprietary code. Uh, and that's because I didn't have it downloaded on this one. So if you want, you can download the the proper one, Google APIs. You need this one uh, in order to for it to work. So we'll install that one, and I'll show you that now it'll how to fix this little error. That's only because it's Maps and Google Maps APIs require this Google API specific because that's something that Google holds dear to their heart and it's their uh, their pride and joy and in my opinion that's really what makes Android uh, that like so enjoyable is the maps features all right yes do want to restart that okay so once this is done okay so now you go back into properties you go to Android uh, you know what I did not maybe I didn't download the right one let me go back. Oops, not that. Point two, point two. Oh, let's add a support library. Oh wait, it is already. Oh, it maybe it just needs to be restarted. We'll probably rest I'll restart this in a little bit. Uh, next thing you need to do is take this one and we'll edit this one again. So you see how the two libraries now are now messed up. We need to add those. So we get ABS. And we add sliding menu. Apply that. Go back to Java build. Okay. Let's change also the. Ah, see how Google APIs came back up? So now it's working. I'll change that on the other one. So apply this. And we'll change it on this one. So now that Google APIs is working, apply it, hit OK. And that should fix that error. See, error is fixed now. Uh, we'll clean them all up. Oh, um, this is also the jar mismatch here is going to be um, with the support library. So that's another thing I'll have to fix. So uh, that's because they've updated since then. So we go into libs, Android support, and you have to delete that one. And while you're at it, you might as well delete the one here too. Uh, since this is also old, you might as well just delete all three. Yes. Yes to all. And then add them. 
So Android Tools, Add Support Library, Accept the License, and Install. And do that again for the sliding menu example that I have. Add Support Library. And let's clean it again. And that should fix the, um, the error with the sliding menu library. Of course it didn't. Why wouldn't it? All right. So Java build path. Oh, let's remove this. Remove. Okay. So does that that fixes it? Let me make sure that's not anywhere in here either. Yeah. So it's not. So now when we run this, it should work. Android application. You know what, I'm probably gonna have to create a new AVD. How about we just launch one? We'll see if that works. Okay, so now we have our Nexus 4.2 running. Close this out. Wait till that starts running, then we'll run it. I like having it prompt me every time. This way, I can always make sure. Yes, monitor log cat. You definitely want that because you want to make sure if you have an error. You do. So this one allows us to select the. If you select that, it'll definitely be up and running. And there you go. Here's the example working as it should. All right, hopefully this helps you out. If uh, you have any questions, please leave me uh, a message uh, in the comments below. Uh, if you had this previously working and then all of a sudden it does not work now uh, after you've updated the tools, um, that's a different problem and I'll link that. Uh, I have the solution already posted to that one and I'll link that in the in the description for the, or actually not in the description, I'll just put a little pop-up up here, right?